After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. Here at CCDC, I see a lot of crazy things happen. But when people come in and start using drugs and alcohol as an excuse for breaking the law, I have a hard time trying to sympathize with them. How are you? I got beat up my, by my boyfriend, and I'm the one that ended up in jail. Well, what did you do to him? Nothing. Well, you're kind of strong looking. So why did you get in a fight tonight? What happened? He drinks and he starts beating on me. Have you been drinking? Yeah, we both drink. And you were beating on him too? Well, what am I going to do if he beats me up? I'm just saying, maybe it's the alcohol. No, he's a liar. Hey, spread your feet for me. Well, why doesn't he have to go to jail? I don't know. You must have got him pretty good. How long have you guys been together for? Two years. Husband? Boyfriend. How old are you, ma'am? 62. 62? How old is he? Uh, 51. Ooh, look at you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's a cougar over here, OK? Is he living at your house, or are you living at his house, or what? Well, I have a place in the same complex. Is that how you guys met? Mm -hmm. All right, are we ready for the next step? Okay. Yeah. Have a seat all the way down the very last chair. So can you just tell me what happened with Renee? They got into an argument, apparently, for like an ex-girlfriend type of deal. Um, she got verbally aggressive at the bar. They came back home. She punches him in the back and then continues punching him. So at that point, you know, he held her down and called the police. So. Wow. Thank you. He beat the out of me, and I'm the one in jail. And you keep going back because why? <laughs> did you have? A, did you guys go on a date tonight? Uh, yeah, we were in a bar around the corner. That was your date? It was a bar? Alcohol is a huge factor in this. You wouldn't be here if you guys weren't drinking, right? Well, thank you. Just saying. Do you consider yourself an alcoholic? Yes. So it's hard. I shouldn't drink at all. All right, I'm going to come back and check on you in a little bit, OK? All right, thank you. You're welcome. She's had a very long day. The faster she goes to sleep and can sleep it off, the better she's going to be. Well, you guys got arrested for what? Yes, bottle rockets. <laughs> bottle rockets? Yes. What are you guys doing shooting bottle rockets off for? We are bored. You are bored? I didn't light any fireworks on the 4th of July, so I wanted to make up for it. <laughs> What'd you do? I was lighting up. That's a good friend. Is your first time here? Yes. Is your hair always that color, or do you do it just for the fourth? I dye it all the time. You dye it all the time? Uh, it's been like eight colors this past month. <laughs> eight colors in one month. I used to do that. Your favorite turn around here for me? This row here, all the way down to that very last seat, wait for medical to call you up. We were actually dispatched for shooting illegal fireworks. And he had a, a pill on him, a hydrocodone pill, and some hypo needles. What is he being charged with? Uh, possession of controlled substance and those type of needles. OK. Don't do anything until they tell you what to do. You think you can get in trouble. You can stay here longer. Exactly. Hey, Officer Haney, come look at this property. Yeah, what do you got? Cuffs. Check. Some kind of leather contraption. Whose was this? This was in Justin's property. Oh, Justin's? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not very unusual coming from Vegas, but... Maybe he's into extreme sports. <laughs> Maybe. Justin! Can you come back here for a minute? Justin, would you just kind of explain about... I need clothes. This... What? I needed clothes. This is Those not clothing underwear. material. That's my underwear. It's underwear? It's a jock strap. And this is for... My friend gave me those. They're for many purposes. OK. So you just carry this around in your bag? Just in case I need to change clothes. That's true. You never know. You never know. <laughs> all right. You don't want to be stuck at friends' house with the same clothes feeling all dirty. Hey, whatever you do on your weekends is totally on you. <laughs> so what all were you getting charged with tonight? Possession and fireworks. <laughs> we, we blew up the bottle rock. Yeah, your friend almost blew himself up, right? They were blowing up in his face, and I was just laughing. <laughs> 18 and a half years old, what are your goals once you get out of here? I mean, obviously, this isn't a place you're going to want to come in and out of school or anything like that? No. Go out, go party. Do you have any questions at, at all right now about anything? OK. Go back, go back, have a seat by your friend there. 
Yeah. Hopefully, Justin learns by it. You know, being as he is only 18. Mm. Hopefully, they get everything straight. And not come in here. Go ahead and have a seat, Renee. Want to take off that watch? No. You don't want to? You know how much this watch costs? It's OK. It's going to go into your property. You'll get it back when you leave. We just need your property right now. You can't have my watch. Yeah, we have to put it in your property right now. You would feel bad if someone took it from you out there. I thought you were doing a lot better. Now you're angry again. She took my watch. You're going to sign She had her? to. Don't be You know how much that watch costs? You're going to get it back. My boyfriend beat me up. Yeah? He's the one that should be in here. What does that have to do with your watch? See? Good point, huh? No reason to be nasty. How did that fight start? Do you even remember? He got drunk. So did you. Keep going. And he oh, started calling me bad names, because he's not a nice guy. So you're not going to go back to him, right? No. OK. Then I'm we should go get my stuff and get out of there. OK. You can go ahead and go with the other officer right to this room. All right. All right, Mr. Renee, here's a copy of your charge. You're here for the battery DV. Uh -huh. $3,000 bond, OK? So go have a seat with the other females. Listen for your name to be called. If you need anything, then you just raise your hand and ask the officer, OK? OK, just OK, well, there's a water fountain right there in front, and then you can have a seat. All right. Thank you. She's still very back and forth as far as her mood, so she's definitely going to go through the detoxing process here and probably not remember anything by tomorrow and back with her guy by the time she gets out. Just a sad story. I've been working for Metro for 11 years now. Went to college, studied behavioral science, law enforcement, kind of fell into that after I volunteered as a victim witness advocate. This is my career. This is what I choose to do. Very rewarding. Fascist Germany is telling people what to do. Sure. You're going to tell me to be quiet about five more times? If that's what it takes. How much you had to drink today, Joe? I've never actually drank anything ever in my life. How much have you had to drink? Hey, hey stop, stop. Nothing. You act ridiculous now. I'm peaceful, as opposed to you well, that's guys. Well, deba that's debatable. Uh, you want to debate this? Or you well, I'm not sure you could what right now. Do? We're going to tell you what to do, because you're because here. Because you're fascist. No, because stop that's that. our job. And I'm a nice guy, and I will never fight back. And I have actually been beat up, beat down, and quit playing with my nuts, would you? See, stop, OK? Oh, uh, now you're hurting me. Stop, OK, now. Did I commit a crime? Did I commit a crime? Can you listen, sir? No! OK, you can tell that to the judge. I did not commit a crime. Come on, let's go see the medical. You can hurt me all you want. I, I know you have fun. Hey, did you bring Jeff in? I did. What, what happened with Jeff? Well, we are transporting prisoners tonight. Uh, the arresting officer said he was uh, basically confronting tourists uh, in front of one of the casinos. Oh, OK. Track. Harassing people. Yes, and he's been this way uh, in the van the entire way. Uh, it doesn't look like he's going to play well with others, but we'll see. He may surprise us. You never know. <laughs> Stand up. You just can't call me, sir. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to give you orders. Stand up. Why do people say, sir? Turn around. Right there. Have a seat. Right this way, all the way down. You're going to threaten me again? Oh, yes or no? Are you going to threaten me again? Nobody's threatening you. You need to Liar! Down. Liar? No, I'm not lying. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, you are in line. He okay. threatened me. Did you not hear him? He didn't are threaten you. Deaf? you. He didn't threaten you. Oh, you are deaf. I'm going to be deaf if you keep yelling he at me. He can threaten me. You be quiet, sir. Possible code 5, ETA 4. Possible code 5, ETA 4. Control just notified us we have a possible code 5 coming in, so we'll have to see what that's about. Hopefully, it's not someone that's as big a handful as him. Here we go again. You need to stand up. So I'm going to take your mask off. No one likes a spitter. 
all the way down to the end. Very last chair, have a seat. Uh -huh. Have a seat and don't move. Sit down. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Now, this is the guy that came in from the airport. He was trying to fly out of Vegas, but was too intoxicated. Oh, my God! He started a scene out there and ended up in jail instead of on an airplane. I'll just give him a cool off for you. Okay. Let him sober up hey. a little bit. OK. Wouldn't be a good thing to have him on a flight sitting next to you in that condition. No, because I'm innocent. Like the front by the I'm going to separate him from the rest of the group. That way, if he doesn't make it, we can pull him out of here pretty quick. Never committed a crime in my life. Have a seat. Have a seat. I sit back to relax. Get out of my space. They're not gonna, they don't like each other. They're getting ready to go. No, seriously, you are invading my personal space. You're going to threaten me again? Shut up. Oh. Oh. Sit, down. sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. All right, you shut up now. Be quiet. Stand up and sit over there. Why don't you take a nap? I'm way too old for this. You nothing piece of <gasps> Oh, oh that I'm got on me, too. You can't spit on people. I'm sorry. It's a little me late for sorry. Family. Spitting is cowardly. Give a good pat down, too. Yeah. Stand up. Please. I'm not resisting. Spitting is a form of resistance. Ah. Uh, Come right back to the chair. Mm. Let him sit out here and cool off before we put him through. Ah. Sit him down. Uh -huh. Okay. Cool off. I'm killing you. You come here. Let's go for a walk. Yeah. Can move the walk to the side. I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. I'm a great guy. The tension between Aaron and Jeffrey was escalating. Aaron decided to look at Jeffrey and spit. Unfortunately, some of the saliva splashed up onto me. Didn't really do anything except get on my arm. So now he's got the spit mask over his head. He was trying to remove that, so he had to transition his hands to behind his back. We're going to keep these two, uh, these two inmates separated. As he sobers up, he'll go through the process. I'm sure they're not the last ones we're going to get tonight. You're going to have a seat in the first two rows up here. Don't get out of your seat without raising your hand, OK? If you need to use the restroom, if you need a drink of water. Left hand or right hand? So it doesn't matter which hand. Do you have any questions? Yes. Um, if I'm innocent, may I leave? I need you to sit down. Once your adjudication process through the court Jeffrey, is complete, absolutely. So. Would you like a copy of your charge? Please. There you are. First You've been charged rounds, with Jeffrey. disorderly conduct. That's a shock. He's actually receiving an OR. We're going to let him out, but it's been deferred a little bit because of his intoxication. He can't leave the facility. So he's all yours. We'll take care of him. Thank you. Living in Las Vegas over the last 13 years, uh, definitely seen a significant change, uh, a lot of growth in tourism here. And uh, with that, unfortunately, comes the crime element. But uh, just like all the major hotels on the Strip, we'll welcome you with open arms. I got the keys. Uh -huh. right. Just received a call that we've got an individual coming in code five. Uh, he was arrested for jaywalking, so let's go see if we can talk him out of the vehicle. Well, he, he's going for jaywalking, but he uh, he was trying to open the door. The window was cracked down a little bit. And he was trying to stick his head out the window. I had to roll the window up. But he but he he was just saying that uh, he was gonna fight me when he when we got out here. So, Robert, I'm Sergeant Mowry. Now that you've been arrested, you've been brought here. I need to get you out of this vehicle. I'd like to walk you in instead of putting you in that uncomfortable chair right there. But it wasn't cooperative at all, sir. OK, so if you are you going to cooperate fine. with us? Yeah, I'm fine. OK. You got this? Yep. Grab the back of your pants, sir. Hold them up, all right? He's being cooperative right now, so let's see if we can get him in here and uh, get him going through the system. What, uh, what were they arrest you for, sir? Uh, yes, public intoxic intoxication, and I'm gonna fight it. I want, I want to bite the lines because I know my rights. What? What do they call it? Public what? You said you said public intoxication. What you told me? 
I, yeah. want, I want you to do a breathalyzer. No, no, no. I, I didn't tell you that. I asked you if you were drinking. I didn't drink at all. intoxicated. Nope. OK, do me a favor. Grab your pants so they don't fall down. Grab your pants. I'm doing myself. There you go. Straight Let's down. Go all the way down here. Nope. Right here. That way. There you go. Over here. Grab your pants so they don't fall down. Are you on drugs right now? No. You haven't been drinking or using any drugs? Nope. I smoke weed. That's how I do. Were you smoking weed today? I smoke weed every day, so. What did so. I tell you? Didn't I tell you to hold on to your pants? Hold my hands behind my back? Yeah. Hey, let me see. Are you ready, Veronica, or not? Yeah. This guy's blood, too. Hey, right there. Have a seat. Get back in the way you want. What? Can you get on? Oh, pick up your pants, though. That's Hello. impossible. I'm not damn blind. Hello. Look, we're on there. Welcome to Vegas. Have a seat. This is what happens in Vegas. Where are you from? San Francisco. First time here. Why are you here? To have fun. To Catch have you. fun? Is this fun? <laughs> not tonight. It's not fun right now? Have a seat. Did you know why you got arrested today? What were you doing last night? Were you out partying with your friends? Yeah, of course. Yes, I want to have fun. I want my boys and this bachelor's party, and that's all I want to do. Well, you know you were charged with jaywalking? <laughs> yes. We don't go out of control okay. and start acting crazy and stuff like that. I'm not a loser, and I read books. Can you read books? Yes, I do. Do you go to college? I study criminal justice. Oh, you do? All right, well, sit down until he calls your name, OK? Just stay there and calm down, all right? You're not going to be here that long. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Right, be so tight in the ground. Oh, my goodness. If you start following directions, maybe I wouldn't have to come over and address you at all. I have been following directions. No, not even once. I got screwed at Boot McDonald's. Who's going to be happy over there? I don't know what you just said. But anyway, exactly. sit there and stay okay. in your seat. You okay. won't have any problems, OK? Thank you. I don't want to have to hook you to the chair, but I will. Oh, my shit. Come on. Damn, dude, what's up, Sean? I thought I heard Sean. No, your name's Robert. You realize you're here on a charge that you can get OR'd on, which means you can get out? I apologize, but I'm not drunk, I'm not high, I'm not nothing. I just felt disrespected. That's how I felt. So why is it that you're uh, refusing to keep your pants up? I can't pull them up. I have no belt, honest to God. We gave you direct orders to hold your britches up. And then you came over here and you let them fall to your ankles. Do you know what OR means? Yes. You get released on your own. We'll release you without post no posting any money. No you, you don't have to post bail. We'll just release you with a court date, OK? It's the easiest way to get out of jail. So you just got to calm down and relax. But can I please pull my pants no. up? No, no, just stand, stand up. up. Stand up. When and I pull them up, you're going to hold them, OK? All right, grab them with your hands. Hey, Robert, do you have them with your hands? Yeah, I got them. OK, now have, have a seat. seat. OK, sit down until he calls your name, OK? Relax a little bit. We'll get you out of those cuffs. You got to show me that you're going to follow directions. Thank you. I appreciate it. OK. Does it I'm work? sorry for the inconvenience. Okay. Keep your pants up now. OK. This is your pa OR paperwork, OK? This is your release paperwork. Sign right here so we can get you released, OK? okay. Don't lose the OR, Robert, please. Robert came here on a simple jaywalking ticket, and he ended up extending his stay way longer than it had to be. Come on in, Robert. Come on. Thanks. Come on. Get right over there. Here's a nice one. That's me. I'm Officer Nice. All right, do me a favor. Stop here. If you would have cooperated earlier, you probably would have been well on your way to getting released. OK. Go right out that way, sir. Am I good to go home? No, no, you're just going to the next room. You're going to be out of here soon, Robert, OK? Right this way. Hey, Robert, do you remember the rules out here that he just told you? Remember where to sit? Up here, first three rows, OK? Listen up, listen up. Do you think you learned a lesson coming to Vegas, coming to jail? I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I've been to jail. Jail is nothing to me. I made a mistake today, and I got to suck up and reap what I saw. All right, well, have a good trip back to, Vegas, or back to California. Go ahead and have a seat, first three rows. Raise your hand to get up, OK? Don't get up without permission. Don't wander around anymore, all right? First two rows, left-hand side. There, a phone. You have to raise your hand to use it, though, OK? 
We see this all the time. People come to Vegas, want to have fun. They break the law and they spend part of their vacation in jail. Hopefully he learns his lesson and doesn't come back here again. People may think our job's boring, but we have so many people that come through with different stories. Some are pretty interesting. A lot of people come in, they're having a bad day or they're angry, and I've got to be able to adjust my mood to try to bring them down, and you just got to be very flexible. What do you do for a living? Um, I'm an escort. Just explains the outfit tonight. Yeah. Up on the wall? Hand on the wall? Yes, please. So what exactly do escorts do? I escort like celebrities and stuff. You have to work up to that. You have to like start at a certain level. My mom owns a car business, so she gave me her clientele list. That's nice of your mom. Yeah. Do you have to give her like a percentage? Ten percent. You do? I make five grand a night. Does that make your mom your pimp? Yeah. That's funny. Do you know I just got out five hours ago? Did you really? Yeah. You were just here last night? Yeah. So what happened tonight? How'd you get caught tonight? Um, this limo tried to charge me $120 to go five miles, and I went and him. Five miles? That's pretty expensive. Go to this row, all the way down to the very last chair. This row. Why are there no girls here? What was the story with this girl? Uh, I was dispatched to uh, relieve Swing shift, picked her up at Tropicana for defrauding a taxi cab. She refused to pay a bill, saying that she was driving around town for two hours. She said she's only in the cab for half an hour. Oh, it was two hours. Great, thank you. I'm in jail on a Tuesday. Party animal. I don't have any priors. You were here five hours ago. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking it's funny. You said no priors here five hours ago. You see my nails, yeah. by the way? I did notice your nails. Probably. Who else? You know I have a cupcake tattooed on my ass? Oh, my Don't God. Wait, well, you got a cupcake tattooed on your butt? Yeah, that's my name, cupcake. <laughs> so why, why on your butt? What, so people can frost it? Is she done with medical? Are you done? OK, look it. You got an OR. OK. <laughs> Defrauding an innkeeper. You don't have to post bill. It's the fastest way out of here. You just have to promise to appear in court, OK? So fill out the highlighted areas, and you'll be out of here in about six hours. Six hours? I'm so hungry. Uh, well, you get breakfast here. It's not chicken nuggets. Can I pay you guys to get out of here quicker? Do I look like a John to you? <laughs> have a seat on that back row, cupcake. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Threatening me. You should probably get off that crack. Find me somebody else to talk to. I don't want to talk to no crackhead. Just shut the f up talking to me, bitch. Please. <laughs> stupid hoe. Next time you call me a stupid hoe, you better watch out. Stupid hoe. She called me a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> this is you. <laughs> I'm not on crack. I heard it from over there, but you do know you can lose your OR based on your behavior in art, okay? Okay, no more talking smack, no more getting out of your seat, just follow the rules, okay? How many more hours do I have left? I don't really want chicken You haven't even been here for one. So, like I said, it'll probably take about six hours with your OR, okay? Come on, man, run it, go. I know, he just came in. He's been like that since he walked in. If he stays as loud as he is, he's going to end up getting removed. Let's go get screened by medical. I get a big hug and a kiss, too good looking. How's see first row? Oh, ooh, it's see first. Oh, no. I got to sit down to hug and kiss now. I just can't stand up. Hitchhack. He scares me. Get off the oh track. <laughs> Take the back seat, good looking. No, it's just a little bit too disrespectful to me. Here, stand up for me, but to the side, so. I was just giving you, I was just I trying to make it show. You know, I'm sorry. Okay. So when you went to call him up, he just immediately started making the obscene yeah, gestures and obscene. comments. He wanted, to call, he wanted to kiss and hug, and um, I can put up there. He's been here many times before, so I know who he is. 
gentleman's come in intoxicated, being belligerent. Uh, he's out there actually making sexual advances towards our medical staff. So we need to get him out of the area before he sets anybody else off. Let's try it. Go down to your knee, bud. Don't move until the door shuts. You need to go sit down and sober up a little bit, ma'am. Chrissy! What? What's going on with you today? Are you on anything? No, I'm high on life. Yeah? I think I'm a big stud. I'm just such a stud that nothing can get in my way. Not even a cell door. I'm Superman! <laughs> Just joking around. No, I, I just want to have a normal awesome. conversation with you. Can I you have a normal know. conversation? Huh? Remember how disrespectful you were being? You make every female in here upset with you. You weren't being very nice. No, I wasn't. I said, hi, honey, how you doing? I, I, I treat women like, you know, like, uh, really good because I hear they're delicate. Have you been drinking today? Six ounce beer, good looking. Oh, Huggy, smuggy, kissy, wissy. I was drinking hard alcohol or anything. Chris, go ahead and have a seat for me. You know, I was drinking a uh, freaking uh, tequila sunrise. Or... Let's get one thing straight. Okay. I don't want to go to that next level. We have rules and regulations and the way you speak to people, and you don't talk to them in that uh, frame of mind. And that I wasn't trying to try to pick up on it. I was just trying to cheer him up a little bit and just make him realize. Oh, get when you try to realize this, how you doing? When you come in here, I want you to be respectful, OK? You came out way too strong to her. Okay. Sorry. I, I like to be really respectful. Okay. Shh, quiet time. Quiet time. Uh, you want, let's you want, practice you that. You want to go ask Christina if you want to do it again and try it again? We can do that. OK. Just stay here, relax. We'll bring you all shortly, OK? It seems a lot better than when we first came in. That's all. Nice and calm. That's how we like it. That's good. All right, Petra, come here. You're going to sit right here for the money you have? Here and here for your property. There's your one charge. OK. Misdemeanor, you're going to be out on an OR, so you won't be in here for very much longer, OK? Grab your paperwork. Let's go. Into the next room. Have a seat in the first row. If you need something, you raise your hand and ask the officers first. She was funny, but after a while, it was very hard to believe any of her stories. And she got to the point where she was definitely going to lose her OR, and she'll be back again, and she'll give us more stories, so. Las Vegas is 24 hours. It's an adult playground. People come here on vacations. A lot of people come into jail, and they're actually quite surprised that they got arrested. They think prostitution is legal here. They see these girls walking around. They're caught up, and boom, they get to put a trip to the county jail in their tourist book of things they did in Vegas. Did you, did you drugs off? Right? No, you? alcoholic. Are you alcoholic? Yes. I drink a gallon of gin a day. What else do you do? Biscuit. No? You don't do any tweak at all? No. No? Have you ever? Yes. Yeah? When did you stop? Um, probably maybe five years ago. Spread your feet for me. Since I have no one wrong, I could get a pair of pants, please. So you're wearing nothing under the dress? Yes, ma'am. All right, Gina, step over here with me. Sure. I want you to walk all the way down, sit in the last chair, or if medical calls you up first. All right, how'd you come in contact with her? Oh, uh, we received a call from a security guard, female knocking on different doors in an apartment complex. He stopped her to trespass her um, and called us to come facilitate the tra uh, trespass. Okay. She ended up having some warrants, so we brought her down on her warrants. What was she doing knocking on all the doors? Did she ever say? She was out turning tricks, according to her. Is the word she used is tricks. All right, well, thank you. Do you think by chance, since I have no underwear on, I could get a pair of pants, please? How come how you don't have any on? There's some fish that nylons in there, too, Is in there? case I got to change for later. So, we should, oh, so maybe we, there was a possibility that we were going to be working tonight? There you go. There's always a possibility you're going to be working. OK, when an opportunity rolls your way, we just go with it. You got to be prepared. The condoms, the high heels, the fishnets, you got to be prepared. So how many clients would you work with in a night? Yeah. Maybe three, so you figure you're pulling in 300 bucks, 400 bucks a night. Do you work every day? No. So do you bring them to your home? No. No, no, no. Get like a little, to your home. a little weekly or something? No, I have a fifth wheel. A fifth wheel. Oh, oh, so it's a mobile. It's a mobile <laughs> like motel. Pose on wheels. Pose on wheels. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you should get your own website, right? I think we're ready to get processed. Mm. 
I'd have like a glamour shot or something. You look great. Hold your head straight, though. You don't want a crooked mug shot. Very good. OK. Perfect. You did great. So how much do you drink a day? A gallon of Seagram's gin a day. No, you do not. Yes, and I keep my bottle in my hand at all times because it's my weapon of choice. No. It cracks in my head with it, it never breaks. Let me ask you something. Are you drinking the gin because you enjoy it, or are you an al do you have a problem? Are I'm an alcoholic. alcoholic. Are you? I'm an alcoholic. Okay. What happens? How soon after you, that last drink wears off do you start having problems? Depends on how quick you wake up. OK. <laughs> OK. I want you to put these on. Awesome. Step back over here. Thank you. I'm going to close. Really wear these? Well, you're not wearing any underwear, so I brought them for you. No G-strings included? These are no, like... we don't have. We have granny panties. It's a good look for you. I love the color blue. Well, I OK. okay. Like yeah. No, they won't. I got plenty of booty to fit in. OK, you got plenty of booty to fill them in. Yeah. OK. I... No, I'm going to sit in here with my okay. back. My back hurts, too. Right, you're going to come. I must be laying on my back all day. It makes it hurt. OK. Back around and have a seat in that chair until we're ready to have you sign for your property. Do you ever give a fake name, or do you always truthful? I've never given a fake name. I don't, use, I don't even use a fake name when I'm out there. That just opens up a um, whole can of worms. I figure if you're using a fake name out there with a client, then what are you doing, robbing them? Why can't you be who you are? Oh, you're still providing a service. You're just doing it with a different name. My name's Miss Gina. I'm OK with it. I'm all Miss right. Gina. Miss Gina. Miss Gina. Here's a copy of your charges. Same old station thing, one to the next, right? When they call your name, stand up, go visit them. When you need to get up for something, you raise your hand. Thank you. You're welcome. So this is my pay charges, right? It is. Keep okay. that with you. This I'm not, they're not, they're not going to award me, right? No, not on a failure to appear warrant, no. I don't think so. You'll see the judge in a couple of days. And, oh, I swear, you know, yeah. I'll go to sleep, you all right? your money, yeah. Yeah. yeah get so a can nap. I get a drink before I sit down? Yes, you may. Thank you. OK. Good luck. Thanks. All right, so Gina's pretty prepared. She already had her phone numbers of people she needed to talk to to um, put money on her books. No, you need to have a seat first. The phone system's different, Gina. You're going to have to register. OK. So well, good luck to her, I guess. County Detention Center, we actually rotate positions and posts so that we become really familiar with the areas that we're working. So you're familiar enough that if somebody needs help in another area, you're able to go to that situation and give them the help that they may need immediately. Will you tell me? No. We can't sign for your money if, if you don't tell us where it's at. He just passed it. <laughs> he found it. You know what? Screw you. Wow, ma'am, you're being so obnoxious. I'm being a bitch. I'm being a bitch. Because I'm old and I don't need to be here. You don't want to be here? Because no. it's gross? Yes. It's OK. It's not going to be I called gonna... for help, and this is where I am. Well, how did your car just like I don't know. I don't, know. I I don't, don't know. It's a shift, I, and I rolled into a Mercedes. Have you ever had an accident before? No. you got to go get your blood uh, drawn. OK? Oh, that's hard. My veins roll. Oh, well, they're really, really good at what they do. Come here. This way. She's admitted to having two glasses of wine. You had a Mercedes? I rolled in this Mercedes. I called you guys for help. And here I am. Two glasses of wine. Don't move. You're really good. So why do you? Why do you... We got to get one more. Just relax. I'm not having a problem. You having I know, a problem? No, I'm not. Duh. I'm sober. I'm the soberest person you've ever arrested. I bet I'm more sober. What? I got a mouth. A little bit. A little sailor. I'm 72. I can say you're, anything I want. You're old enough to do that. You're right. You're damn right I am. I am damn right on that. You're damn right. I'm probably one of the nicest people you've ever arrested. You're close. What do you think? Yeah? Am I really? Yeah. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, but we're all done. Yeah, but that hurts. Well, it's going to happen. It's a needle in your skin. Well, kind of a pistol. We're going to keep you around your for dreams. entertainment. You're fun. Why'd you have to take two? Because <laughs> you had two glasses. We'll go out and have a drink sometime. What are all those girls out there? Are they prostitutes? Some. Some? Mm hmm Can I figure out which ones? No. <laughs> Let's like, not play that Waldo game when we go out there. Where's Waldo again? Right over here, look. Okay. She's got the seat waiting for oh you. My God. Last row with the other females all the way at the end. Have a seat. <laughs> what happened? She called you guys? She uh, was picking up her car at the valet at the Palms after, I don't know what she said. She had something to eat and some wine. And she rolled into the car in front of her. Mm hmm and the car in front of her was a Mercedes convertible. Oh, so she called the police to get a police report come. 
Right. Uh, there wasn't very much damage to the Mercedes, but yeah. well, if she had got out on the street, it could have been a lot worse. So. Absolutely, yeah. All right, thank you. Sir. It was funny when she first sat down. She was asking all the girls, "You're all so young. How old are you? How old are you? How old are you?" Well, she wants to know if they're all prostitutes, and she says she's gonna spend her time in here figuring out who is and who isn't. And you what? You stood on the corner and he came up to you? Is that how No, I was walking down the street. He stopped for me. I get I go to the car. Why would you do that? Wow, I cannot believe that she is seriously talking. She's such a nice lady, and she's seriously talking to her as if she's going to change her life and get her to not do what she does. <laughs> We'll call okay. you back in here in a little bit. I'm working on her. Are, is it working? Well, I don't know. Does she care that you're telling her? I don't think so. Okay, well, go work not on positive. her some more. I'm Let me know positive. later, all right? Okay, go, go, go sit back where you were. Okay, come here. Give me a break. It probably really is. Listen up for your name out here, because they're going to call you a few times, OK? Can I get a drink of water? Sure. Did you end up saving anybody back there, do you think? I worked. I worked so hard on yeah. her. I thought I had a little bit of that time. Yeah. I said, no, you don't have to be like your mother. Right. And I said, go to school. You go to school. You go to the counselor. You get your GED. They'll give you money. Right. You don't want to do it. Right. 50 bucks. Yeah. 50 well, bucks. Oh. Well, you know what, Sharon? Good luck, OK? I'll try. All right. Thank you. See you later. I think out here she might be able to, like, maybe she'll have a little more time and she can maybe get her point across to some of them. I'm not sure. I don't know. She is a kick. Before I started here, I used to train and breed Arabian show horses back east for our family. We had about 118 horses at one time. Needed a little bit of a change, started to raise a family, and decided to uh, look into law enforcement. And an opportunity arose here in Las Vegas, and been here for 12 years now. What's going on with you today? I got found my girl, and she beat the out of me, and I ended up getting arrested for it. Yeah. And you have been here before? Mm -hmm. Being drunk and stupid, and that's why uh, I quit drinking three years ago. You did? Yep. I don't drink no more, and I go to school for criminal justice, actually. Are you? Yep. You are awfully smiley. You don't do any drugs or heavy pills, do you? No, I'm just no? a very just happy, a happy person. It's just different to see put someone smiling and not crying walking in here. Put that on. Okay. Put it on? Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I get to be a tough out girl. A tough out girl? <laughs> you are funny. I'll give yeah. you that. Yeah. Leave it to my mom. Oh, my God. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that is a little tight, huh? Were we out at a party or something? Or? I went to wrestling last night, so. All right, here we go. Second row, all the way down, last seat. Keep that uh, happy, gold lucky spirit, all right? Yeah, no problem. So what happened with this guy? Too? We received a call, domestic violence. Uh, we made contact with him. He said he had a verbal argument with his girlfriend. What she said is that they woke up this morning, and he wanted to have sex with her, and she refused. So then he uh, got on top of her, which um, they then fell to the floor. He once again then got on top of her. She uh, ended up biting him on the chest. Yeah. OK, thanks. Okay. Yeah. OK, just look up here for me. Did I vote? I want that big smile that you came in with. There you go. Excellent. OK, turn to the window. Stand right there. All right, hold that. Hold the smile. Or right there. Perfect. All right, go ahead and have a seat right there. Minimum mandatory 12-hour hold. Battery domestic violence charge, OK? Go ahead and uh, take your glasses off real quick. Go through your hair like you're washing it. Lift your shirt up in the front, all the way up. OK, wow. That's a big bite mark. Is that where she bit you? Wow, she got you good, huh? OK, I pulled away before right. she broke the skin. Yeah. Well, here we go. You got all that done. You're in good shape. You sound like you know what's going on. Like the attitude, all right? Keep that going. Keep your spirits up. It's only a misdemeanor crime, OK? OK. So come on out, and we'll get you going here. 
first three rows, okay? Good luck to you, Jose. Thanks. Right Jose got a battery domestic. Obviously, he took a pretty serious bite mark to his chest. Jose seems to do okay. He's got a real good attitude and probably the happiest guy I've seen come in jail in a long time, so that's good. to get to me at this job is that because I work in the booking process, I'm the first person that inmates see when they come in. And even though I'm very even-tempered, I will talk to people, I explain their charges to them and try to have patience. A lot of times it doesn't matter to the ones that are very angry. So a lot of times I just take a deep breath and uh, I just got to explain to them it's not going to do them any good to give any attitude. Right now we have a code five that just arrived. It's a female. I don't know the circumstances of what's going on, but we'll go out there, I'll have our sergeant talk to her, and hopefully she'll be able just to walk in. This is a narcotics arrest. She was selling mushrooms, and they no. think she took some earlier. So she's been everything from, like, very nice and polite all the way up to, you know, trying to smash her face on our cage, oh, all the lovely. way to trying to get squirrely with us, etc. You want to get out of the car? Yeah, take me out. All right, bring your feet out first. I'm going to help you up, OK? Let's go walk this way. Ooh, don't you want to like cover those up a little bit? Oh, they won't pull it up for me. Oh, well, you can. Please, Look at you. I can't. Look at you. Look. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. So what were you doing tonight? Absolutely nothing. I had no alcohol, no drugs. Nothing. I had nothing on me, and I'm arrested. Well, why would you be arrested for Can nothing? Can you ask them for me? I will. Absolutely. We'll Thank get you. to the Thank bottom so of this. Much, Can you spread your feet for me, please? Nothing in your bra? Nothing. You said no drugs. I have absolutely nothing on me. All right, let's go talk to medical, OK? Are you balancing yourself? No, I just, these, these shoes are uncomfortable to me. I'm just going to have to monitor and see how she does. Oh, I am. Have you had any alcohol tonight? <coughs> yes. I'm not going to lie. Is champagne a beer? Sorry? It's alcohol. OK. Um, have you Four had champagnes. any drugs, any kind of drugs? Nothing. Marijuana? Uh, yes. That's a drug. I'm sorry. I, I really, how truly gonna, did not consider it a drug. I'm sorry. Yes. How are we going to have an honest relationship if it's I, like this? Because I really didn't think, I, I truly forgot. Like, I, I, I smoke it, like, every day. I'm sorry. Yes, I smoke <laughs> marijuana. If you smoke it every day, how do you not know? Because I have a, I have a legal prescription, but it's not legal in Nevada. Why don't we go over and have a seat with the other females, calmly? OK. You got this. Oh, OK. You I don't got know this. where to go, actually. What did I say? Uh, Last row with the other females. Hey, boyfriend. Can you come back here, please? What's your first name? Justin? Yeah. I just want to know what the story is between you and your girlfriend and coming in tonight. Well, I got so caught selling pot, and a cop arrested me uh, undercover, and they arrested me, and then they arrested her for no reason, I guess. You know she already told us that she's been smoking weed tonight. Oh, yeah, probably. I don't know. I thought weed is, like, more calming. She's not very calm. I told her. I don't know, man. This is her first time ever being in trouble, too. Like, I swear yeah, to God. Yeah, but she's been drinking tonight. She's been using drugs. It's kind of my fault, or it is my fault. Mm-hmm. We'll figure it out, all right? Mm -hmm. You can go have a seat. She's, she's calling me all type of names. Caitlin, don't start here. They're just talking about me over there. I'm not going to sit here. Are you yelling at me? I that said they're sense. talking hey. smack about me, and you completely They were me. not talking smack You won't even about here. OK, stand up, Caitlin. Come on. Stand up. Well, no. I'm going to take care of the phone. No, you got to stand up, or I'm going to make you stand up. So what's, what's the choice? Caitlin, what are you going to do? OK, I'll help you. Turn around. Caitlin, stand up. Don't fight, Caitlin. Just stand up. Don't resist, Caitlin. Oh, no, no. Stop. Negative, negative. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. Let's try again. Yeah. Now we're going to walk. Ah. Your boyfriend's very concerned about you. You should listen to him. Shut the f up, bitch. What? That's not very nice. Oh, my God. You're a f ugly ass cop. I don't think I'm that ugly. I just caught the tail end of that. Yeah, she was acting up out there and obviously just can't control herself. It's probably better than Viagra, isn't that for DJ? Marijuana, is that better than Viagra? Oh, yeah. Does it take away some of the pain of your medical issue? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Let's go down here and talk to the nurse here. Yeah. So what's going on with this gentleman? 
Basically, he was at Sam's Town, uh, had to cut him off of alcohol, and uh, he proceeded to drop on the floor and start break dancing. When security told him to stop, he tried to do leg sweeps. The gentleman had a warrant for DUI. This country, if you make marijuana legal and tax it, that we would pay off the national debt. Do you hallucinate or anything like that? Oh, right. God, you just, you know, you kill it, you want to kill Every, with alcohol? You smoke it. Yeah, you take a hit. Man, you just want to... I thought... I, you, I, it, it, I don't know how to explain it. I thought you said that it made you want to make love. You know, it's better than Viagra. Oh, well, I, that's after you smoke it. After you smoke it, you made love and everything else, then you want to kill somebody. You have a wide range of emotions going huh? there. Then you just say to legalize it? <laughs> I don't think I said that. Of course, I've been smoking it for so many years. I don't know what I'm saying, you know. My brain is, isn't working all right, you know. I, I get all the questions in jeopardy, but hell, if I know, you know, what they're talking about, reaver madness. So you just seem like you've changed a lot since earlier. I just don't remember most of it, and I just, I just remember being belligerent. And I didn't mean to... I'm sorry. What what caused all that? Just alcohol. It just made me a different person, I guess. In the future, I mean, if you're going to go out and have a few drinks, do you think that you'll think about this and that will make a... Yes, I am never coming back to jail, ever. So what does that mean you have to do then when you go out? Not get drunk or no. wait till I'm 21. At least never come to Vegas until I'm 21. Because what, what was I really going to do here? Like... Yeah. Just get in trouble. I can't go. I can't go into clubs. I can't like. How long have you? Been and I'm just a stoner from California. Like I was asking for trouble, like straight up. It didn't turn out to be a very good night for you at all. No. <laughs> all right. I'm just glad you're doing better. Just hang out here for a minute. <laughs> wow. That's not even the same person. Not even the same person. Oh, completely different. apologetic. But it took something like this to really sink in. People think that we like to use force to accomplish our goals, and the truth is that if we have a hostile person come in, we like to try to talk them through the process, let them know what to expect. The best day we have is when we don't have to use force in any situation. What's going on with you today? Domestic violence. Yeah, who'd you get in a fight with? I got it. My girlfriend. It's gonna be a change. Mm -hmm. What about? Over. Because I uh, went to the drive-thru and ordered food, and I didn't have $20 on me, and she freaked out. Did she have money? Yeah. Oh, she, she, she freaked wanted you to out. pay your own? The officers have no idea of the story. There's a, a lot more to the story than there is. Right. And she's throwing dishes at me, all kind of stuff, at her house. It was just nuts. Wow. And then so I was pleading with her, like, violence. please just stop. Just calm down. Da, da, da. She bites me away, da, da, da. throwing dishes at me. And I was like, OK, I'm leaving. Hi, Paul. Hi. I, look, I've been dating her for six years. She's been having an affair with her husband for five. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is she married? There's now, a now lot really more to this me. story. I guess. We've been officially together since December. She so in trouble, but they're still officially married. Legally officially married, married yeah. I got you. OK. The cops were calling like an hour after it all happened. I was already yeah, home, oh, in no. bed, sleeping. Like, right. it was done. Here, go all the way down to see the nurse, make sure your health is OK. It's just really messed up. We ended up over at his girlfriend's residence because she called us. And the details we just had was that she got hit. And we get over there, the, the house is totally destroyed. She's got injuries all over her. She says he ended up breaking into the residence to get to her and beat her up. Initially, he said he never saw her, hadn't seen her for two days. And then the story changed, of course, because he had a bite mark on him. We asked him about the bite mark. And he said, well, uh, he got the bite mark from this morning, so which confirmed the story that he was over there at the residence. Right. But since he broke into the house, he got charged with burglary and battery okay. domestic violence. Of course, he's got a totally different story, but he's blaming her for the entire situation and breaking her own stuff. So get him booked. Yeah. Hello, Victor. What'd you get arrested for? 
DUI. DUI. Spread your feet out. Put your hand up on your head. Right there. Don't do anything you're not told to do. Right there. Don't move unless I tell you to. Are you sorry or you just feel like not listening? I feel that I'm not listening. You feel like not listening. That's the wrong answer, sir. OK, let's go for the right answer. You need to listen to me, OK? I'm in charge. You understand that? Yeah. Now, left hand. You're going to go down and see the nurse. Go right around the front, see the lady in the blue, and be nice. Who's uh, uh, deal with this call? He drives through this lady's front yard, smashes over a wrought iron fence, and uh, he's out behind the wheel. The car's running, it's in drive, but it's kind of high center on this bush, so I open the door, touch his shoulder, and as soon as I touch him, just to check to see if he's even alive, he starts swinging. So he drills me in the side of the face with a closed right hand. So I grab him. You know, he, he's not coming out of the car, so this epic fight ensues. So we finally managed to pry him out and uh, get a hold of his legs, pick him up, dump him out of the car. We start putting the cuffs on, and we get the cuffs on one hand. He starts throwing rocks at me with the other hand from the, from the driveway. The yeah, from the from the ground and stuff. And he just didn't want to go to jail. Yeah. And this, what, what all did you end up booking him on? I got him for yeah, DUI and then uh, just battery to PO. You said, or something on the paper says that I swing so to an officer. Who's saying that? The officer? That would be me. Do, do, I, do I swing to you? Mm -hmm. No. You did? That's what you say, sir. I, I, I Why would you make so. that up? Believe me, people that are in jail innocent are more than the people that are outside. Are. <laughs> Which one are you? <laughs> From the point A that I remember, when you wake me up, so you to the point you Z, up? Uh, that I am right now. Okay, we usually go A, B, just so you know. From you're going A, C, and you're forgetting about I don't know, B. I don't know. B I is know, where I you were taking you, a swing when, at. When you arrest me, I told you. Do you remember? No, I don't. Okay. Well, not the remember dinner, uh, isn't uh, a not red drink. Uh, All right. Okay, we're good. Take nice it. Okay. I'll just take really the cuffs off and let you out, okay? My mistake. Yes. Yeah. Police always right. Okay, Victor, stand up, please. Have a nice day. I'll see you in court. Nice see you in court. So the end result, what's going to happen now? You guys going to make up and get back together, or going to just stay away from I'm her? Staying and, away. I mean, yeah. I told her tonight. That's why I think she called the police because she knew it was over. She, yeah. Because I, I left. I said see you, and I left. You got a charge of burglary? Yeah. The circumstances that the officer saw at the scene, OK? It doesn't mean it's going to hold up in court. It's just an accusation. It's just so messed up. Just look at it as an accusation right now. Just try to get through your stuff. Call your family. Let them know that you're here, all right? And uh, try to try to take this one step at a time, OK? Left side, all right? So the first three rows. It's probably going to be here a few days. It didn't sound like he had the money for bail. And, uh, Unless him and his girl stop drinking and getting fast food at 3 o'clock in the morning, right. they're probably going to keep having problems. This is a copy of your charges here, OK? The, uh, the DUI uh, happened in the city. And then uh, he actually did an assault on a police officer, so it's a $1,000 bail. Both I misdemeanors. Didn't even move, so how I even assault mm -hmm. somebody? Yeah. I never lost my, my conscience. Well, why don't you come on up here? I got your uh, money card ready, OK? Uh, your cash here, which is signed, OK? Come on out here. Have a seat over there. And Seems to be more sober right now. Hopefully, he'll follow the rules out here and get himself booked in and get himself released eventually. We've been working down here in the booking section for about 10 years now. Some of the responsibilities as a sergeant down here is officer safety. I got to make sure that my officers come to work and go home safely. Second of all is morale. Uh, I spend a lot of time with these officers. I consider them my extended family. So we do a lot of activities inside and outside of work to keep that camaraderie nice and tight.
Stretch your feet up. Officer, I'm not competitive. Yeah. Ouch. Hey, the, the cuffs are too tight. Can you uh, unloose them a little thanks. bit? Thanks, okay. Thank you. Uh, officer, please. Oh, hey, thanks. Appreciate it. I'm calling you officer, man. Around. I mean, Sorry. seriously. Okay. Hey, Good. you don't need I'm not. I'm not doing Good. anything, man. Michael, just stay up against the wall and follow instructions, okay? Ouch! I'm not combative, man. Seriously, Michael. I'm not combative, man. Okay. Just got you in the wrist. Though. Seriously, okay. I'm not. Okay. I'm not trying not to be combative. I'm just, just keeping you under control. Can you loosen Michael. up a little? Hey, I'm not that. Up, man. Go through the process. That's hey, what I told you. Loosen the cuffs up a little bit, man. As long as we put our fingers in there. Can you, loo can you tell these guys it was in policy. to be a little bit respectful, please, Metro? Ouch! So. Michael, we're going to take it to a side cell right now. Whatever yeah. your name is. I'm not combative. Seriously. Oh, double lock, check for tightness. Officer. Walk this way. Okay. Right this way, buddy. Hey, walk. I'm walking. Officer, walk. Michael came in for DUI and hit and run. Came in code five, actually. We're just going to watch him. Hopefully, he calms down. Hey there. Look at that sweater. Yeah, it was sprayed on the outside. Okay. Yeah, we talked to him earlier. Obviously, it's not working, so. All right, we'll keep an eye on him. Keep an eye on this. Sir, hand me the tray. They're about to fight, and one of them has a tray. Hey. Hey. Put the tray through here. So you don't get a deadly weapon in charge. Hey, put the tray out. Sir, put the, give me tray, the tray out. You know that's a deadly weapon, right? Oh, what? Okay. Any available. Any available. Sergeant, 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 This one's four is open. to get the uh, tray up. Yeah, four is open. He's threatening to hit us when it is one. Turn around and face the wall, both of you. Sir, hey. Let's do it. Not a good idea. Take him down. Yep. He's here for obstructing. Carlos is here for an invalid driver's license. So they could be getting out relatively quick. But unfortunately, they got in a little argument. These are good police officers. I'm not, I'm not crazy. I'm not on drugs. These are good men. Put them in different side cells. What went on in there? Did he actually headbutt you? Did he hit me? Yeah. No. No. He hit me like, you know, like something like, you know. He grazed you. Yeah, I only yeah. push it. Hey, come on, man. It's good that you uh, maintain your composure. Yeah, he wanted me to hit you first. He like, said no. He said hit me? You know, in my country, I hit you first. And here in the United States, I don't hit you. <laughs> what country are you from? Cuba. Cuba. All right, stay frosty. We'll see what we can do about getting you out of here. Definitely the calm one of the group. <laughs> Compared to the other guy, the other guy is still speaking incoherently. Um, we've had the doctors come and talk to him. We're going to have to get a room for the other guy and uh, take him up to isolation housing. Yep, let's give him a call to see if they ever. All right. We're gonna go check on Michael, see how he's feeling. Uh, I tried talking to him earlier, didn't work out too well, so let's see how this one goes. What's up, Michael? How are we feeling now? Feel the same, man. Same way? You guys are jacking me up, bro. When you came in, Look well, at this. Why'd you guys gotta beat me down, man? Seriously. Actually, you're mistaking. Okay, you need I mean, to remember that it, you didn't see me until you came out of the car oh, and I walked you in. Okay, man, tonight, okay. man. The way you guys did me, man. You know there's a difference between the patrol officers and the corrections officers, right? You yeah, know there's a different unit. All that happened out there on the streets wasn't us. These patrol officers out there off a flat tire and sit there, they maced me, did this and that. I'm like, <clears throat> I still, <coughs> I still got the peppers. I can still sure. smell it, yeah. yeah. Okay. To me, yeah. you've calmed down enough. All right, you're still a little I was, agitated. I was, you're I, in there. I no, you were upset I'm when agitated. you first came in. Believe me. Michael, look at me. I'm telling you. This is what's going on, okay? Your release is up. Walk with me. Walk this way. Right this way, buddy. We got your shoes. We'll give you your shoes at the end, okay? Because you had a DUI charge, you have to do a breath, okay? Take a deep breath. I'll tell you to stop, okay? Got it. Deep breath and blow. Still up there. Really high. Okay. Michael, we're gonna put you in a side cell real quick. Alright, they're gonna check you again. Alright. 
Once you blow under the required, you can go, OK? Drink some water. <laughs> <laughs> they have a sink in there. We'll give you some water. I got 212 pounds. <laughs> okay. All right, man. We're going to put you in a side so by yourself. It's going to be 0.04. Go on in there, have a seat, all right? All right. It's like Michael's calmed down. But in Nevada law, we cannot let them out until he blows under a certain number. So he's going to have to do it again. And hopefully, he'll be under and we can get him out of here. I'm ready to go to sleep. What were you drinking? I just told her when I say four earthquakes. Yeah. Four locos? Two, uh, four locos. Uh, like two bloods and, uh, yes. Okay. Sir, that's my daughter. How many kids do you have? Six. That's just one. What happened tonight? Family with a deadly weapon. Baby daddy? Yeah. Domestic violence with a deadly weapon. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna take these clothes off of you, okay? Can I do so? Put your hands up on the wall. I will do so. I appreciate that. I love this place. Wow, I never hear that. <laughs> Let's go get screened by medical. This row, yeah, all the way down the very last chair. I love happy drugs. Stand up for me. What are you getting charged with tonight, you know? Um, soliciting, ma'am. Soliciting. I haven't done it in three months. A new one or a bench warrant? Is that new why one. you're all done up with the makeup? Yeah. Yeah? Did you make any money tonight before they no, arrested you? They, no, they picked me up that quick. So you wasted all that makeup for nothing? Yeah, the first oh. guy, the first guy I knew, and the second guy, I knew he was too, but he was kind of good at what he was. He knew he was so the police, he yeah. so. Were they cute? It doesn't matter if they're cute, I want the money. You just want the money, you don't care if they're cute? <laughs> Do you do any kind of drugs now? I've been out, I've been out crack for 12 months. Very good. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. You feel better? Yes. That's why I'm happy. <laughs> That's why you're happy. So you don't even care that you're in jail. Awesome. But right now, you need to have a seat until they call your name. We're not allowed to sit next to the boys in here. How'd you come in contact with her? We picked her up on uh, Boulder Highway. She's, she's a regular. Oh, okay. yeah, um, and literally within seconds, I went up on her. She agreed to do uh, oral sex for 40 bucks. She actually said she pretty much knew you were a cop, but she decided to go ahead with it anyway because oh, okay. she needed some cash. Okay. So. <laughs> Hi. Do you want her now? Or? I'll take her right now. What happened to you tonight? My landlord attacked me. Your landlord did? And Have you been drinking tonight? Yeah. And they brought me in instead of him because he told me that that's the way it would go down if I called the police. Well, you're really emotional right now. I don't Because think I'm tired of the way he treats me and talks to me and he throws away my food, Lord. throws away my fan. Uh-oh, we don't pound. <laughs> Are you suicidal, ma'am? No, I Listen. We're gonna get through this, okay? Let's go talk to medical. Come on. No way. Because I'm worried about your head now. Okay, Why? walk they this arrested way. Me, not yeah. him. I know, and we're concerned. She told us her roommate tried to choke her, although we didn't see any uh, evidence of that. And then her roommate also told us she started throwing punches, scratched his chest, which we observed, so therefore we arrested Jane for domestic violence. All right, thank you. How are you guys doing? Great. We're happy. I'm trying to sober up. You're trying to sober up. Are you entertained in here? Yeah. Kathy, over here. What's wrong with your... Oh, don't run. No running in jail. Just stand. OK. Lewis! I want you to stand right here. So it looks like he charged you with soliciting, so there'll be no OR. You got to bail out, or are you going to stay here for the 48, 48 hours? hours. OK? Wait. All right, well, hey, you be careful out there. I will, thank you. Okay. All right, keep those pants up, girl. Not gonna be earning any money out here. All right? <laughs> Belanta, let's sign for your stuff. Okay, here's what you are here for. Mm -hmm. Battery domestic violence with a deadly weapon, $15,000 bill. No, daddy told my daddy beat me to the ground. He thought he was gonna run. Okay, you say daddy, you mean baby daddy? Yeah, kid's okay. daddy, that little girl right there. He thought he was gonna run. Okay. I took a knife. <gasps> I did ninja. CSI. FBI, all them gang. Did he yeah. have to have a bunch of stitches? Oh, yeah. yeah. He better have them. Don't put your hands <laughs> on me if you don't want to get back. So oh. where, where is he now? He's at home. You still with him? Nah. OK. Your friend's in there, Kathy. You'll be able to sit with her. I do? Yeah. Ah, totally. Your BFF, your new ah. friend. OK, see this room? Sit up there with your friend. This way, this way, this way. Always go this way. You don't want to walk behind officers. They get a little nervous when you do that.
Sometimes people come in here for simple charges and they get what's called an OR, that's release on your own recognizance. You know, and they could actually be out of here in four to six hours. Sometimes these people fight with the other inmates, they fight with us, their process stops. So six hours turns into 12 to 18 hours and it's all on them, it's just their behavior. They let him in the bar. We just had a female come in. She's a little intoxicated. I'm going to step over and make sure she's behaving with medical. What are you getting charged with tonight, you know? You want to know what happened tonight? Yeah. I'm, I'm dying to know what happened tonight. Okay. My ex-boyfriend. He's 18 years old. I'm over it. And he, like, just keeps stalking me. I try to date other guys, but he'd be like, oh, threatening to kick their ass. And he, like, stalk me. Don't hang out with him. I don't care how big, medium, small. Don't hang out with him. I don't talk to the guy. He just keeps stalking me. I can't help it if somebody walks into the bar and calls all your friends out and stalks you in the shadows of your house and moves into your house. Like, I can't help that. Perhaps you should quit hanging out at the bar until this is resolved. No, no. I go home and he's there, dude. Like, it's... We're trying to help you here. He waits in the shadows. So why don't you guys ever call the police and let them know there's a teenager hanging out in a bar that serves alcohol? I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill him. <laughs> no, don't say that. You just need him to go away. We're... He can do whatever he wants. Why? Because he knows a bunch of cops. He's, he's just crazy. He's a call caller. Try and to like... find him above 21. Okay. So come with me. Sit right there. So is her story pretty accurate? No. Her boyfriend described her as a psycho ex-girlfriend that was mm -hmm. basically stalking him and supposedly shoved him, but there was no sign of any kind of injury. Okay. I went over and talked to her at another bar where she was seated with another guy, and she's got a bunch of warrants. So. Okay, so the ex-boyfriend isn't stalking her, his ex... No, it's the other way around. The other way around. Yeah. She's stalking... She's... Stalking the ex-boyfriend. He's the stalky, she's the stalker. Boyfriend isn't stalking her. He's the stalky, she's the stalker. And is he really 18? She's saying he's 18. I don't think he is. No? Okay. Definitely over 18. So the story's a little different, is it? Well, she just woke up. <laughs> right, she, she and slept. she's. It was a 43 mile ride from Indian Springs, so she just woke up. And she admitted to drinking tonight. So. Just a little. Just a little. All right, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the ex boyfriend's stalking you? Yeah! Or are you maybe following the ex boyfriend around? No. You're not? No. You're like, you have no idea. This guy is like out to ruin my life. Well, only you can you can stop him from that. No, I can't. Nobody Look at can just ruin your, Nobody can just ruin your life. It's up to you. I wouldn't tolerate that if I was you. I would I would get out of there. The guy's psycho. Sounds like, he's like a it. psychopath. Have you ever tried to get a restraining order against no! Drex? No! You know what he, you know he did? He lied and he called the cops and said, I pushed him. Like, who does that? Like, everybody was there. Like, nobody pushed you. He went to the bar and, like, called me out. Like, I don't understand. I don't get it. So someone lies about you, calls the police, has you thrown in jail, yeah! but you still don't want to get a restraining order against him. Why? Why? Because the sex is good. <laughs> she's called me a whore. Why would you do that over there? <laughs> Look at her. She's a whore. No. You're nothing. I just don't care. You're disgusting. I'm glad you feel that way. Ma'am, mind your own business, please. No, I wasn't talking to anybody. No, but you're making comments about our conversation. And no, it's not about your conversation. Me. conversation. No, about me. About so shut up. No, he's talking to you. Ignore her. All right. Stay away from the 18-year-old ex-boyfriend. I'm done. I have to go pee. OK, you got to The restroom's right over there. When you come back out, sit in the back, OK? Don't talk to any of the guys that are in here. And what's your story, miss? I got drunk tonight. I got in the car, and I drove. Where, I were, you, where were you drinking? My boyfriend's. Your boyfriend's? What, what kind of alcohol did you guys have? I was drinking seven and sevens. Seven and sevens? Do you have a few of them? Huh? Do you have a few of them? Yeah, about three or four. That's a lot. Did you hit a parked no. car? No, she pulled in this way and I pulled out that way and we kind of just... No. No? You passed up behind the wheel when you were making your right turn. The lady that was in that car was <laughs> stopped. Was that a total stop? Yeah. Oh, that's not very that's nice. Not, that's not the right answer. Listen, we can't flip officers off. That's not very nice. Yeah. Sit here for a little while till they're ready for you. Sorry about that. Yeah, she was, she was at When it, she so. first came in, she said, oh, it was just a little bump. Just a little no, bump. No, no, she tore the front left wheel off of her Mustang. Oh. It wasn't a little Was anyone hurt in the accident? Um, no, the other no? driver didn't, okay. didn't complain of injuries, okay. but she was stopped at a stop sign, and this lady came right turn around the corner too fast, and, and just... she, the, the other girl said she looked like she was passed up behind the wheel, and she oh, did. Oh, okay. And she just went corner to corner on the car. The oxycodone she's on probably doesn't Oh, that so there's a here. little more going on. You know, there's uh, always there's their more. story, and then there's the truth, which you guys tell me, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, well, thank you. I'm glad no one got hurt out there. Thank you.
Janine, stand up for me. Okay, so we can't flip officers off. It just I can't happen. I was not happen. flipping him off. I really wasn't. Who were you flipping off? It was just off? the whole attitude thing. His I was attitude. flipping off the attitude thing. But then you were flipping said, him off. He said, no, he said, you stopped. And you were passed out. And I said, no, I wasn't. That's do you off. think maybe he remembers a little more accurately than you because he hasn't had three or four seven and sevens tonight? He wasn't getting in your face or anything. He was just telling you the facts as he saw oh, them. Oh, no. I don't like I said. I wasn't okay. flipping him off either. All right, let's go sit down. Right. Thank you. Was Officer Citre? Yes. The girl that came in earlier for domestic violence was kind of angry. She came out here, didn't last very long, started making all these demands. So put her in a side cell since oh, she I was so that. angry. Yeah. I'm just going to go back to the side cell okay. and see what all she's right. doing. Jane, why'd they bring you in here? My landlord attacked me, and they brought me in here instead of him. And I'm the one that called 911. He's an alcoholic. Were you drinking? You told I don't me drink. You told me earlier that you were. I had a drink, but yeah. I mean I wasn't drinking. Right. I don't drink. Well, if you have domestic violence, you're gonna be here for a minimum of twelve hours. And you'll be out of here probably within forty eight hours. I can't. I have a doctor's treatment you on can Tuesday post I bail. have to go to. I'm not gonna tell you you're gonna be out of here in a few hours, because you're not. Okay? <laughs> I'm not trying to What was that, Jane? That was very dramatic of you. Jane, is there any more questions you have for me? I can see that your eyes are open. Do you need me to call anybody for you? See, that's all you needed to ask. Go to the hospital. What for? Because of my injury. What injury? You guys aren't going to do anything for it. I didn't know about an injury. What's wrong? So you seem to be OK. I had a stroke. You go to the hospital, and a year here longer. It doesn't make it go any faster. You still have to come back here and do your time. What I need you to do is sober up. I am not drunk! This is your personality all the time? I'm not drunk! I'm Jane, pissed! You're okay. keeping me You're not listening time. to me. You're talking over me. I'm trying to tell you how to get out of here, but you're not listening to me, so I can't help you then. Until you can calm down and listen. Yeah, I have to lay here and sober up. Good luck to you, Jane. I know she's just up and down, and it's hard for me to be able to spend all my time paying attention to her when I've got a room full of other people that have issues as well. Let's just better get her out of that area, bring her back here so she can be more closely monitored, and hopefully she'll sober up soon. Chanel? Okay, you're here on three charges. Two charges of disorderly conduct that are in warrant, and one DUI bench warrant. If I don't have the money, it's like 25 days in jail. It's probably good for you. You won't be able to go to your little bar for 25 days. Just think about it this way. That 18-year-old stalker can't bother you while you're here in jail. I know. I know. That's totally true. Like, uh, like, what is he doing now with himself? You know, he has to have somebody to Ross. <laughs> don't worry about what he's doing. You got to get your ducks in a row, girl. You might as well get it straightened out now. All right? Calm down. He'll be OK. So Janelle's kind of having a bad night. It sounds kind of like a repetitive cycle with her. She likes to hang out at this bar with her friends and doesn't want to put a restraining order against this boyfriend that's allegedly stalking her. Who knows what's really true? She's got herself into a situation only she can get herself out. Central Booking Bureau. One of the things I like to do when they come in is assess what the person's acting like, uh, if they're hostile, loud, if they're extremely quiet on the other aspect, so we can determine how the person's going to act once they're out of cuffs and in our custody. Here you go. Hand on your head. There you go. Let's tell me what to do, bro. You're the boss, bro. What do you want me to do? So what did you take this morning? Huh? What was it that you took this morning? At one time. Four hours ago, and I'm like, <laughs> sober down here already. You do seem a lot better than you did a couple hours ago, right? right my arts, dude, my arts cool, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking a lot still. It's sort of hard to pull my pants up when I'm in handcuffs, ma'am. There you go. Focus. Sit in the second row, okay? Is that restroom? Yep. Oh. Restroom, yep. There it is. Men's and women's. Knock first. Make sure there's not somebody already in there. Knock first. All right. All right. So this guy came in this morning. He was uh, 
really, really intoxicated on some type of drug. He said he did a bunch of GHB and 10 ecstasy pills uh, so the police wouldn't get him on it. We sent him out to the hospital, had UMC clear him. Now he's back and getting booked in. What's up? Some food? 10 o'clock, which we're at 9.30 now. 10 o'clock's coming. We're going to get you a nice happy meal. Uh, I mean happy, happy meals. meal. I love happy I don't meals. mean happy meal from the store. I'm saying our, our meals. I like that. will make you happy. And we're going to get a juice, probably some orange juice or something well, like I that, orange drink. Happy meals and a happy bed. Not, not, I'll be real happy. Not going to get a bed. All I ate was a bunch of pills of ecstasy. Right. And it's out of my system. I need some food and water. What Bail. were you doing last night that got this all going? That's a long story, dude. My employee's trying to kick my ass in the wind parking lot. I mean, right. I've seen no cops there. Jail. Okay, and they saw the altercation and chose to bring you to jail instead of the other one. And did yeah, they bring that's you, up. Uh, bring you because of the fighting or just because of the drugs itself? I don't know. We'll see what you got booked on, and we'll go from there. Thanks. All right, man. 49, 49, 8, Cal Carter. High pressure, chronic pain from your right leg, DVT. Anything else? And stupid pill. Don't forget that. <laughs> if you think of anything else, you're gonna get a full screening in the next room so they can... Uh, well, I look like Don Rickles. Maybe that's why they want You to... actually do a little bit, I'll oh, be know. honest with you. Yeah, you've probably heard that before, he, huh? He called me on the stage years ago. Years and, ago? Uh, yeah. He introduced me as his, his uh, ugly step-cousin, the result of inbreeding. Wow. Do me a favor. Come sit right here in this uh, first chair and just relax for a minute, and we'll be with you in a couple of minutes and get to the next step, all right? He's a 72-year-old gentleman who was remanded for possession of controlled substance with intent to sell. Appears he had bags of marijuana in his car that he was selling to supplement his Social Security. All right. You about ready for this process? Yeah, I'm going to be a star. Yeah. Well, go ahead and stand up. I'm going to take you in the other room here and oh, okay. get the next process going here. And uh, you told the nurse most of the things that you had going on. Everybody's done. Oh, yeah. Well, why not? Well, well, you're not here to suffer. We're trying to, trying to get you through. There you go, turn to your right. Okay, turn this right. The other right. This right. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Like you about 30 years younger. So uh, me and him are going to be twins in 30 years? He could be your dad. Right. Dad's a foot taller and 100 pounds heavier. <laughs> anyway, let's go over your paperwork. They have the charge down, okay, as a temp position of controlled substance with the intent to sell. That's the marijuana, That's okay? That's the one that we just did. That's yeah. the one you just did, okay? Oh, my God. Come on, you don't like that? That's a good picture. I look old. When I got my driver's license, the young girl says, oh, this came out nice. I says, are you kidding? I look old. And she looks at us, it's 1938, and goes, hello, you are old. Oh, well, there you go. You See? Pocket, right? That's right. Got your copy in your pocket? Got it right here. All right. You remember the rules from last year when you were here? Oh, yeah. OK. Come on out here. Don't flirt with the girls. I know you're a flirt. Um, so just be polite and nice. You're going to be on the mail side, OK? Raise your hand if you need anything. Gotcha. Then make sure you talk to the nurse and tell her about your medications and stuff again if you need anything. Hey, listen, first four rows over there, OK? okay. Thank you. All right, you're welcome, sir. You don't see 72-year-olds uh, every day talking about how they were arrested at the mall for selling marijuana to the kids. Uh, just trying to supplement his income, and uh, he got caught. But nice guy, fun to talk to. I wish they'd all come in like that. out of these cups. Bring your tray. He's going to take that from you. Hang on to that for a second. This is what you got. Trafficking and Control Substance Schedule 1 uh, GHB. OK, that's a $10,000 um, bail and uh, felony. OK, of course. Uh, possession of marijuana. OK, $3,000, also a felony charge. And yeah, then uh, really the ecstasy as well. Oh. Yeah, we talked about the smell of that weed. Yeah. Uh, pretty obvious it was weed without even testing it, but we did test it. <laughs> All right. Possession of controlled substance ecstasy, um, also a felony, $3,000 on that charge. And uh, destroying evidence, you eating 10 of the ecstasy, becomes Which destroying I mean, evidence I because not tried to eat you them. knew. You told no, me. No, you no. you said I did it because the cop didn't get it. In Colorado, I would have got away with eating it. All right, if well, it's a gross misdemeanor, the least serious charge you have, okay? I need to sign here and sign there. So what did you think of the food? Three felonies? Was it as good as a Happy Meal? Did it make you happy? Oh, I don't care about that. I'm more concerned with the three felonies I got. Come on out here. I want to explain the rules to you. So you're going to sit up here on the mail side, first four or five rows. Raise your hand if you need anything. 
Do you want to finish your food? Of course. Okay. okay. There's a water fountain in the front of the room. Okay. So it's phone, pretty water fountain. I've been to jail pretty easy. Yeah, before. it's pretty easy. So any other thing? All right. Try to be nice, be polite, be respectful. You'll get the same treatment. Go ahead. First three, four rows over. Hit, take a copy of your charges so you know what you get hooked in on. All right. Good luck to you, Joel. Joel still thinks he's in Colorado, but he came to Vegas two days ago. Hopefully, he'll come down off the drugs and realize where he's at and get himself uh, bailed out of jail here soon. I've been with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department going on 10 years now. I've been working down in booking for the last four and a half years. Uh, normal booking day for us would be uh, booking in about 100 people. The process normally takes anywhere between three hours on a good day to five hours if it's like really busy. Right. Crazy to see what happens. Hey, what do we have for names? They're interesting. Open and gross lewdness. She was naked on uh, Craig and Thong, and then he pulled his junk out and stuff like that. Okay, I'm telling you right now, you guys cannot talk to each other. Good. Okay. All right, just face forward. Stand here on the black mat. Nico, can you spread your feet? You've been here before? Yep. Yeah? So you know how this works, right? In a minute. You have a shirt underneath this? Nope. Any bra? Yes, ma'am. Anything stuffed in the bra? Hell no. Oh, uh, really? You lied to me already Whoa. off the bat. Oh, my, I'm sorry, my secret. I really didn't even know. Do I need to strip there. search you? Is that where we're going with this? It's for my safety as well as yours. Do you have anything else on you that you shouldn't have? Honestly, I don't know. If you'd like to check, please do. I will. Please don't make my hair. What was that? Please don't make my hair any more up than it already is. All right. Left hand comes down. Relax your fingers. Left hand comes down. Good. Left hand comes down. You do as you're told. Walk over to see the nurse. Walk straight down. Go all the way to the end. She'll call you up when she's ready. Your girlfriend? Yeah. Why did you guys get brought in? Indecent exposure. We were trying to get down the alley. <laughs> That's a good place as other, right? We well, were trying to get down the alley, huh? Why didn't you just get a room? I ain't gonna pay for no room when I could just bust up my nut real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you guys homeless? Hell no. So why didn't you go home, man? Yeah, we was about to get there. Well, the neighbors called the cops on you? I don't know. The cops showed up. They caught you in the middle of that? No, we was yet. But you were sitting there exposed, right? I guess. That's what they say. Your first time in here? Hell no. Yeah, I've been to prison, old boy. Go straight down this aisle right here. You're going to go sit in there, okay? We got called out there for a disturbance. When we got out there, uh, several citizens, you know, advised us that uh, they both were exposing themselves to each other. And, uh, you know, it's a major intersection in Las Vegas. She actually removed her pants and uh, started fondling herself. Uh, the male even admitted to me that once she started this, this aroused him, so he then pulled out his genitals as well. The female was charged with open and gross lewdness, and the male was charged with uh, indecent exposure. Indecent so, exposure? Yeah. I guess they couldn't wait to get home. No, I guess not. Hey. <laughs> Turn around, sir. I don't think these two guys are going to make it here. Yeah, I don't think so. They keep talking. As soon as they walked in, told them not to be talking to each other. They're going to keep going. I thought he would at least make it, but he's the one over here who keeps turning around talking to his girlfriend. Yeah, there you go. Tell him, baby. Wow. Hey. Yeah. I think he needs to go. You want to take him? Yeah, sir. Yeah. All right. That's it. Okay. All right. Don't, don't, don't stand up. This gentleman's going to go to a side cell. It's causing a disruption out front. Right. Talking to the front. He's been asked several times to calm sure. down, but he's not following okay, instructions. Have a seat, man. What's up, Washington? All right, have a seat. This is the other half. Sit down. Hey, bitch. Relax. Relax. That's my baby. That's my baby. Bitch, you can't hurt me. 
I'm not trying to. All the way to the back wall. Why am I here? Yeah. Just follow okay, instructions. That's all you got to do. Okay. Be in here and why am I in here? As soon as you calm down, we'll get you out of here. We need to okay. switch out your shirt. Uh, Take off your hoodie. All right, ma'am. Just stay there till the door closes, OK? How long will it be before I get They'll out of here? They'll come check on Every half hour, they check. All right? Okay, let's put her in there. Hopefully, keeping them separated now. Maybe it'll give us some time to calm down. Maybe we can get her out a little bit later. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Well, we just got a call that there's a code five female coming in. Let's go see if Sarge talk her into walking in. She's spitting or anything like that? She likes to kick. Oh. See, she's hobbled. Yes, she is hobbled. She's hobbled. Is she drunk? Yes. To prevent any injuries to the inmate or staff, I'm going to have her placed in the restraint chair. All right, come here. Come here, we want to help you up. There, see? I told you I was going to help you. Okay, Thank I don't you. want you to hit your head, so come on out real Absolutely. easy. Absolutely. There we go. Oh, good job. Oh, I'm wonderful. Okay. Turn around for us. There you we go. Need so many people to do this. Oh, there's only three this of us. Amazing. I want an attorney. You know what? Hang on. Immediately. Hang on one second. Immediately. Give me an attorney. Let's call an attorney. You are being ridiculous. Oh. Here you go. I'm the like okay. I'm a freaking murderer. Come on. No. I am not. You know it. Okay, ready? It didn't do anything wrong. Right here. Right here. Let me go. Let me go. It's not right. We were sitting at Flamingo Circle and uh, noticed a commotion, and I looked up, and her and her boyfriend were going at it, uh, arguing, uh, causing a commotion. So went over to her, and she became physically aggressive towards me and my partner. So uh, set to... Uh, Take her into custody, and she started kicking and screaming. She's highly intoxicated. She said she worked for the CIA or something like that, but uh, I think it turns out she's actually a nurse. You are imbeciles. Let me go. Let me call an attorney. Come on, young man. Be a boy. Come on. Okay. Don't let me do this. Get through the process, man. and you'll be able to go home, OK? Relax. Young man. Talk to me, please. I just, I just told you exactly how to do it. Sit in the chair, relax, and you'll go home, OK? You need a timeout, so this is it. You are going to be up. I am a CIA agent, so let me go. You're a CIA agent? Yes. I am so pissed off. How much have you drank tonight? I had two martinis, and I can prove it. All right. You know what? You're a beautiful girl. I wish you were nice all the time, because yeah. I think Young we could hang out. So let me go. I cannot. Let's... You <laughs> bitch. You're not very nice. Going backwards. Fill the first chair. How many of you are there? Four? We were moderately slow tonight, and then all of a sudden our prisoner transport unit showed up, and they brought me a lot of girls, pretty much filled up the whole back row. It'll certainly keep us busy for the rest of the night. Stand on the mat, face the white. Been here before? I'm for minor kitchen level four. You trespassed out of there yet? No. I was just walking through and I got lost this time again. I'm not well, how old are you? I know it was about to be 19, but I didn't know. You're right? not supposed to be out in the middle of the night running around casinos. You know I'm that. I'm an adult. I was just going to get some McDonald's. You are an adult, but you're not allowed to. You have to be 21 to be in the casino. I was, no, that's why I was telling oh boy. Like, I was going to get some McDonald's. He seen me by the place, but he was just being a Did like, you? In the most, you can't, you got to give it to somebody. Did you talk to him like that? No, ma'am, I didn't. Come on. He was just, I even asked him, are you going to take me all the way off? Yeah. Nice. Aw. Uh, but I was doing come my own boy for that one. For real, three You condoms. were just going to get McDonald's, but you had the condom with you? No, I had that condom for a reason, because. Well, I know what the reason I is. I was for... trying to, well, I didn't want to get pregnant <laughs> yet. Oh, well, I, I give you credit for that. Oh I know. It's just, it's just my bad okay. luck, but I have the key. All right, have you been, you've been here before. Yeah, all right, go to the bathroom, right and then you know you got to go to this row of chairs all the way down when you're done. She's, go this, go this, go that way. 
lot of times they use their wig to hide money in condoms. That way if they get robbed or jacked, as they like to say, they don't always look under the wig. So if they take their purse, they're not gonna lose their money. All right, next. What are you here for? Trespassing. Trespassing. Any money or property, condoms, anything stashed in the bra? Oh. You know the one girl had a condom in her wig, right? Yeah. Yeah, you knew that. <laughs> uh, I had to put my money in my wig some, a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> so nobody takes it from you? Yeah. Safer that way? Oh, yeah, I got robbed the other day. You did? What happened? Um, the guy, basically, I was doing a double date with a friend, and I wasn't mm -hmm. keeping time. And the guy said that he had a short time. I said, don't complain to me, complain to her. She's the one that's keeping time. She's in charge today. So you're running over your time? Well, actually, she's cut his time really short. Did he he hurt robbed you? me and her. Did he hurt you? No, but I was going to hurt him. I don't know that that's a good solution. I'm going to undo your hands because i got to take your jacket, OK? Oh, it was only 200. Well, he that makes... me on the date anyway, so Today? for him to do that and then take my money on top of that, I was yeah. from Mexico. From Mexico? Oh. Okay. Well, I'm glad you girls weren't hurt. Are you putting the handcuff back on yourself? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> You're rehooking yourself. That's just awesome. Did your hair come off? You want to do it? Girls always look better without your wigs. Why are you lying? All right. So tonight, was it trespassing or what? Trespassing. Cover them up. There you go. Cover them up. OK, I know it's a habit, because you got to show the goods, right? OK. All right, you know where to go? All the way down. Hey, Officer Sanchez, behind you. We'll get them processed in. I'm sure there's going to be some more coming tonight. Vice is out there working hard, bringing them in. Spread your feet. Hey, bitch. Quiet. Do you understand? For real. Ready? Pay attention. When these come off, you're going to put your hands up on the wall. You understand me? How am I going to put my hands on the wall when y'all got my hands up? Sir, think about it for a second. You need to be quiet. Hey, those are screw backs. OK, she knows how to do it. Come on, man. Unscrew them. Keep turning. They don't just fall off like no fake ass. You know? Do I have to still stand with my legs spread like I got a coach? Face forward, man. I just had coochie today. Tell you one more time, face that wall. I'm, I'm not gonna tell you again. You got it? I'm facing it. I'm facing it. My bitch trying to bail me out tomorrow, today, like right now. Turn around, turn. I'm gonna face down that way, go see the nurse. Face down there, man. Just relax, man. Go through the process, get out. Relax, Char. I thought she wanted me to flex. No, she don't want to get excited real quick. Doug, relax, because mm. she's not going to get be able to get it. That bitch finna bail me out tomorrow. You need to be quiet. Step that way for me, man. Just relax, all right? What you coming in for? I got two possession of marijuana. I got, you know, I got pimp and a bitch. You know? So you got, got pandering? Hell yeah. I'm not even resisting. You're not going to resist. You're going to put me in You're too intoxicated. Listen, listen, I listen. listen. Stop, stop, stop. This is what's going to happen. We're going to let you come down off of what you're on, OK? Then in about two hours, sure. well, yeah. If you don't cause any problems, you'll be coming out in about two hours, OK? Yeah, your, yeah your, process, your process will still keep going, all right? And nothing's going to stop. Honestly, sir, like, I'm not on anything. What's making you act jittery and, and running out of the mouth? Just just that cop, that, that the way he right, was right. I wasn't, I, like, I wasn't. OK, so insisting. listen, we're going to keep you in there and cool you down for a couple cool hours, down. and then we'll pull you out a little bit, all right? Just right, relax. Right. Okay, you can come off the wall as soon as the door shuts, all right? He's okay. Yeah, we have to take command and control. We can't have that belligerency yeah. out here. He's okay. Right. So we put him in there, he'll cool down. He'll be fun. the one who came in code five. She's over in the side cell right now. I'm gonna go check on her and make sure she's doing okay so that we can get her through the process. What happened tonight? Why'd they bring you in here? I had two martinis. I told you all of that. I went to see the Australian nice Motown people. I had a lovely night. What I happened? got into a dispute with my boyfriend. It wasn't anything big. Your police people were vicious, and I lost my temper because I've never been treated that way, ever in my life. 
What you did was not correct. You're not in the chair anymore. And, excuse me. I'm sorry. The phone was switched off. I have no way to reach anybody to help me. Come on. Can I ask That's you a couple of questions? I, no. Do you usually, I really you don't even listen, Belinda. You don't listen. You no, have not I stopped talking. Call. Your supervisors to explain because you're Jim. just a patrol person. I don't want to be treated this way anymore. Sir, could you make that woman go away and explain it to me or have somebody else come out? That's all I'm asking. We have a personality conflict, obviously. Is that funny? It's, it's, you're just, you're just, your personality is very demanding. Nobody wants to help yes, you when you're demanding. like this. You Nobody wants to help you. If you'd be nicer, we'd probably go out of our way a little bit more. Yeah, sarcasm doesn't go Madam, very far with us. Get my paperwork. Look, you don't make me want to help you. Okay, here's the deal. You ready to listen? Yes, I'm very ready. Okay, when you come in the way you did, and that was how I'm talking, or are you talking? Okay, I'm listening. Okay. You have the choice. You can cooperate or you will be put in a restraint chair. Absolutely. Or you give him bruises and beat her up. I'm still talking. You sure are. I'm sorry. Okay. You chose to go into the chair. You did not cooperate. It was very simple. You chose to be difficult. Look, this is a female thing. I don't think this is not a female thing. Sir, I ask. Can you? Just don't. If you stay calm like this, if you stay calm like this, we'll absolutely work with getting you out of here, okay? Because I don't even mind you being a little bit nicer like you are right now and asking questions and listening. That's all you got to do. You're going to be in here for a little bit, but once we pull you out, you can use the phone. Sit down, relax. I'm going to let you go now. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, still argumentative. Uh, sometimes she seems fine when she stops and listens, and then she just starts talking over you and... Th that conversation was exhausting. Hopefully she'll sober up soon. So we're going to go check on Robert to see if he's calmed down. Robert, so what's going on, man? You came in loud, and, you know, I know you and your girlfriend were hanging out, doing whatever you guys were doing out there. I don't know, dude. Like I said, man, maybe the neighbor's didn't like his flashlight. I don't think too so many people would like that, it. not just your neighbors and stuff, so. Well, I mean, you couldn't wait till you got home, or? Oh, uh, man, you know, we were just having fun. <laughs> you been with this girl for a while? Yeah. You guys been together for a long, long time? time. All right, bro, come on over here. Let's get those chains off, all right? All right Let me stand up against the wall here. You got to control yourself. You got to keep everything in your pants. You can't take anything <laughs> out, That's anything right. like that, all right? Because right. then I'll add another charge to you, all right? All right. All right, Robert, just stay there until the door closes, all right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, bro, bro. Lori, how's it going? A little bit better? Yeah, yeah. Were you guys drinking last night? We were having a good time. I mean, we've been pretty sober, so. Yeah. It takes, it takes a lot to kick drugs, man. Yeah. Sometimes you need to have a couple of beers. So you seem to have calmed down a little bit more. You're a little bit more, you know, vocal and talking yeah. before yeah. you were. Coherence. Yeah. yeah, that's a good word. <laughs> Is that word. the word you're looking for? No, not really. OK, well. Just more cooperative. cooperative. You weren't yeah. earlier. We'll come back and check on you in a little bit, all right? I'll get the nurse for Please. you, OK? I will. Soon better. Thank you. All right. Totally different people. Hopefully everything works out for them. They can get out and hopefully continue their relationship. Supposedly they've been together for a long time, but hopefully they keep it indoors instead of outdoors. I hear check on Gregory now. Sergeant Zizek had initially handled him when he came into booking. He was really squirrely, causing quite a commotion, so we had to take him to a side cell. So we're going to check on him now and see how he's doing. Greg, come on out. Let's talk. Go ahead and stand right over here. All right. Obviously, when you came in here, you were pretty upset. What was your situation? Um, I'm just, I'm just upset that I and take care of my responsibilities. I could have went to probation, but I didn't because I had a warrant. I wasn't trying to go to jail, and now I'm in. So the DUI and all the traffic tickets were all bench warrants? You weren't actually arrested on a DUI? Right. Oh, gosh. How long ago was this? Uh, about, about a month ago. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you're together now. You understand we're not the enemy. Right. 
All right, man, throw on some shower shoes, and we'll take you out into GP, and the uh, process will pick up again. God bless you. Sad situation for Greg, but it's very good to see when an inmate takes the responsibility on himself and understands that we're not the enemy, they're their own worst enemy. Based on what I've observed, he'll probably make it through this process pretty well now. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. I got a call for a Code 5. They didn't say whether he was combative or not. They just said, uh, male Code 5. He's pulling in right now. And we'll see how he's acting in the back of the car. How you doing, buddy? Not too good. I can see that, man. It's not cool, man. You know where you're at, man, right? Uh, yeah, I'm in a place where I don't need to be for no apparent reason. So my guys pull you out, you're going to be cool with them? You would have a very cooperative person. That's cool. That's all we ask. Just slide in my bag. Yeah. Let's yeah, slide those sandals on right there. For being hungry, <laughs> this is what happens for being hungry. You happy? Anyone know why? I can find out. I think one of the things they did tell me was resistance and obstruction. Do you have a last name we can call you by, man? Uh, right now, I got nothing. Can I find out what I'm out here for? Exactly what did I do wrong besides being hungry? Then I'll tell you guys something. Other than that, I have no reason to be in these handcuffs. So what was the deal with that kid? He's running inside the Bat Burger, in and out of the bathroom, acting kind of weird. The SAT team guys go out on him. Uh, he locks the bathroom door and he's looking through the window, kind of taunting them. They come get me, I'm not going to come out. Uh, they get the door open, they step outside, we need to see the ID. And as soon as they go to grab him, he just went nuts. And then, he, of course, he started telling everybody out there to fight the police. He smelled the weed on him when we first engaged him down there, so I'm sure he's either smoking it or he was selling it. And then when he went in the bathroom, he flushed it. Yeah, he got rid of it before he finally opened the door and let us in. So. See why he got brought down here. This man is not cooperating at all. We have no ID on him, no name. We have no idea who he is. So he's not letting us do our jobs at all. So he's just trying to make it difficult. You cannot do this. This is against the law. Well, you are here and you're going outside. This is against the law. As soon as we find out who he is, they won't know. You know, he's got priors for dope or something like that. Cross your feet. Stay like that until the door closes. Okay. Can I hear like my fingers now? Stay off of that door. He's just up and down, so he can stay in the side cell and relax for a little bit, and then we'll go from there. Hey, I asked for to be told. Why? And I, you, did you ever give me a chance to go find out? I told you I would be back and, and find out. Find out and let me know. Like I said, you have to work with me for me to work with you, right? Didn't I tell you that? I've been denied information. Are we going to pull him out? Oh, can't hear me? Yeah, he can. Hey, before we even talk, we need to know your name. I need an answer to know who I, you I are. Never, you guys stopped by the police. For, they, for doing nothing. Regardless of what you think it is or nothing, to us it's suspicious. So when we stop and talk, the officer comes up behind me and starts harassing me for no apparent reason. Uh, you know everything in Fat Burger is videotape, right? Yes. Okay, so you 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 think for one minute we don't look at you going in and out of Please the bathroom? Please look at the cameras. We already have. As a matter of fact, since you said that, we already have. No, you haven't. Because if you looked at that camera, take me to the surveillance room. OK, we're done. Take me to the conference room. Have a nice one, man. Where you interrogate Let's go. me. Let's go on for obstructing and resisting. We'll wait until this pit comes back. All right, I'm going to go try to talk to this John Doe in the uh, side cell. Maybe he's calmed down a little bit, and he'll decide to give us some information. All right, I'm going to go talk to some of the patrol officers. I'm sure somebody's had contact with them in the past. All right. Is that him? It looks like him. 
He's got a bunch of warrants for uh, burglary, uh, battery, substantial bodily harm, and battery by strangulation. Probably about sixty thousand dollars in warrants. Now we know why he didn't want to get fingerprinted. Uh, he just came in for what obstructing? Yeah, just uh, yeah, this, obstructing. And this carries a carries a little more weight than just obstructing. So. Yeah. All I did was go in the fat burgers. You weren't doing anything suspicious? Nothing else. Uh -huh. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, I would say so. That's you? Yes. That's you? What, what, what do you mean, does that mean? Is this you? Is it me? You tell me. You tell me. Last time you were in city jail? Yeah. You been in city jail before? Yeah. 2011? Right. All right, so I can pretty much call you Mr. OK, mm -hmm. what my thing is, where did that come from? How did you get my name? There's a lot of officers that come in and out of this building that watched you make that spectacle out front. A lot of them recognize you. No, couldn't have been. We can go with then for last name? I wanna know. Your name is better than a John Doe, because we can't release you as a John Doe. So now I know you'll at least be getting out of here, all right? No. I won't be getting out. Why? Because I have a warrant. You've got about eighty thousand dollars in warrants. That's quite a bit. No, well, I can see why you didn't want to get pitted. We understand now, but we still gotta get you through the process, man. We gotta get it done, so. I mean, honestly. I was going to tell you guys, no, for real. We put you in here because you weren't cooperating. Because if you cooperate, we'll take you out and get you to the process. I shouldn't even be here. But you know what? I'm kind of glad it happened. I can get it out of the warrant. I can get it out of the way now. My kid will be here in February. All right. You know, hopefully it's done. I don't even know what the warrant is for, really. So I uh, know I haven't done anything. When we get this inputted, you're going to get a copy of all your charges, and you'll know what all your warrants are for, OK? We're going to go drop it now, all right? Hey, word is bond. Right? I got you. Right? I got you. We'll be back. I got you. All right. Usually, right. when somebody doesn't want to be fingerprinted, uh, that tells us something. Something's up, so. Well, if I had $80,000 or more, so I'd probably not want to be identified either. Stand right here. Face that way for me, OK? What are you here for, Kristen? Murder. What are you here for, Kristen? <laughs> I really doubt that it's murder. <laughs> Why? You don't uh, think I can do that? You don't look like a murderer, but you never know. What do you think you're um, here for? Well, OK, so I drank in the morning okay. yesterday, and right. I thought I was still OK. Thursday morning? No. This is Thursday. No. Oh, it's Thursday? It's still Thursday until oh, midnight. Okay, yeah. yeah, 45 minutes of Thursday. So, Have a seat. Yeah, I drank early in the morning. Uh huh. At 10 in the morning, and then um, I woke up in my car and <laughs> drove. And I ran out of gas, and they came, and I told them, yeah, I did drink in the morning. And now you're here for DUI, possibly but suspicion wanna, of DUI? Yeah, but okay. I do want to blow again because I know that I'm fine. Yeah, you'll do a breathalyzer. I do okay. have to, right? Yeah. What I need you to do right now is take your jacket off. All right, what comes out in the hair? Are these clips? No, please don't take them. If they're clippies, they gotta come out. No. They're clippies. Oh my God, This no. really is the least of your worries, is your hair. Oh my God, no, Come on, please. help me take them Not out. Not without my picture first. We have to take them out. Oh my God, now I'm going so <laughs> All right, go that way. <laughs> she told me she drinks vodka with Sprite. That's her drink. Pretty strong stuff. What happened with her tonight? We were driving on the Beltway and she was uh, broke down, standing in front of her car. Um, we detected an odor of alcohol, and um, she, uh, she had a really bad night, fight with a boyfriend, a little binge drinking, half a bottle of vodka, she told us. Wow. What happened to your car? I ran out of gas. Oh, that's it? Didn't it just ran out of gas? It didn't break down, she just ran out of gas. Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, for girls. This is her second offense this year, unfortunately, and she's very young. Take a deep breath and blow. Flow. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, have a seat. Wait, what is the legal limit? Oh, 0.08. Oh my gosh, it's 0.083. Oh 
my god. Are We've been out with you me? for an hour and a half. It's three over. It's not it's three over. It's over the legal oh. limit. Even if it was one over? The legal limit is a point oh eight. And we've already oh. been out with you for over an hour and a half. Yeah, I know. She had a prior. She hasn't been convicted of her first DUI, so we have to charge her with the first DUI again. Um, so now she'll have two first DUIs within six months. Wow. Yeah. She said she was asleep in the car, woke up and started driving, ran out of gas. Is that what happened? Yeah. It she, is? OK. Yeah, she's was right. pretty. It was puke in the car. And, oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah. All right. Well, glad you got her off the road. Yeah. At least she's yeah. um, playing nice, huh? Yeah. Thank you. No problem. I used to hate her again. Well, maybe you can learn to hate it again. I woke up freaking 10 o'clock. It was like 9.53, I woke up. And I, then I drove because I freaking slept for a couple hours, like a lot, a lot, a, a lot. good part of the day, it sounds like. Yeah, so I don't understand. It takes a long time for alcohol to go out of your system. Yeah, did you drink a lot? What did you drink? Vodka. Well, oh. I take straight shots out of the bottle. And just chase it. That sounds rough. That's hardcore. Is that your drink of choice, or was that just yeah. what was available no, today? No, that's what I always drink. Vodka with Sprite? You're having a bad night. Pretty bad night. No, it's going to be like a bad month. I think I'm going to be here for a long time. You think so? Well, that might not be a bad thing. You know, you'll kind of calm down, think about what you've got to do. But I can't even do anything with two DUIs anyway. Like, I don't even want to call my mom. Where do you live? Her. At home with your mom? No, I have my own house. You have your own place? OK. Mom yeah, gonna a be, three bedroom house. Mom's going to be pretty disappointed, I'm thinking. All right, Kristen, let's come in and take your picture, OK? Stand in the red box right there. Look up at the open your mind. All right. All right, let me know when you're ready. <laughs> You ready? OK. This is going to be a keeper right here. All right, Kristen, here are your charges. She's got you for DUI alcohol. The bail is only $2,000. That's the bail? So, yeah, that's the same as it was last time in your other one. Oh, OK, but yeah. um, it's not going to cost $2,000. No, if you use okay. a bail bondsman, it's a percentage. Oh, my goodness. And then you also have a charge driving with a revoked driver's license during Wait. your revocation period. I didn't know, though. It doesn't. Still gonna get charged with it though, okay? So the bail's a thousand on that, so three thousand total. So you'll call the bondsman, he'll give you a percentage, and you'll figure out how to get out of here, okay? But that's not a lot of bail to have to come up with if you call the bondsman. I'm thinking the party needs to be tapered down a little bit. What do you think? You're a little too young to be in this much trouble, okay? And I've never been in trouble before. Before the DUIs? No. Yeah. Well, I don't think drinking's working out for you. I think you should try to give that up and try something else. Go to yoga or something. Do something else. All right, do you remember what to do in the next section? Have a seat. Find a seat in there, OK? They've just charged her with a straight DUI this time, so her bill, her bill's only $2,000. So she's got a long road ahead of her, but hopefully she can pull it together. Got a page saying that there's a code five coming in. Uh, he's been fighting with patrol officers out on the street. Who you got here? I have Christopher. The original call was that he was sitting outside the, of a business making threats to saying, kill me. He is intoxicated and he was being aggressive towards officers. OK. How you doing? I've been better. I'm a recovering alcoholic. I'm a good man. All right, listen up. Um, we're going to walk you in there. You don't settle down, you're going to end up in that chair, OK? OK, thank you. All right. Will you please be gentle with me? We will be gentle with you, sir. OK. OK. We are going to try to walk him in. OK, let's start walking, sir. I'm a good man, and this is wrong. My daughter would tell you how good I am. Do you understand what I'm saying to you, young man? I believe you. I don't want no trouble. All right, again. Turn to your left, stand right there, spread your feet apart. I have five kids that love me. You need to remain calm, OK? All right? Sir, I'm not a criminal, man. 
What have I done? He's not going to make it. We're going to have to put him in a train chair. I think you're going to kill me. We're not going to kill you. He's going to be a blood draw anyhow, and he might give us problems then, so it might as well just put him in the chair now and sit. What have I done to deserve this? You haven't followed any directions yet. I hope you die in hell. He's just too, too up and down right now, too intoxicated. Leave him in the restraint chair for a little while, give him a little cool down period. Do you have any health problems, Bill? Yes. What do you have? I'm stupid. Any other health problems? No. No? Do you drink or use recreational drugs at all? No, but I think that'd be a good idea. Suicidal, do you want to hurt or kill yourself? No, I have five kids that love me. God damn it! We're good. No, god damn it. In the car when I spoke to him, he said he was a recovering alcoholic. He has been drinking, so we're going to have to wait and we'll take a blood draw and go from there. He just started spitting on the floor now, so we're going to put a mask on so he doesn't spit on anybody. Hey, bro, I don't think this is necessary, but you know what? I'm cool with this. <laughs> Make an effort. Make an effort. I bet you can't even get out your pants. I'll wait. I'm going to stick my dog. I'm going to kill you. I know I, I pretty much think you're not going to beat me up. Shut up, bitch. No, kill you. I think I want to do heroin. Be quiet for a minute. Okay. There's some important stuff to talk to you about, OK? OK. When you get a blood draw on you, OK. we have a search warrant signed by uh, Judge Olympus. We ask that you cooperate. I don't no, want to do that. Good. Okay, sir. Thank you. Please make it hurt as bad as, as, as bad as you can. Just stab me. You're gonna kill me, huh? No, sir. Oh, no. Just procedure. Oh, that's all good. That's all you got? For now. I think he's calmed down some, but he's got another blood draw in an hour. And he comes out of the chair in another 20 minutes. We're probably gonna try him out in uh, pre-arrest. So we'll just see how it goes. You are the stupidest man I've ever met. Stupid. Just have a seat right there. Okay. Thanks. Okay. All right. Hey, man, you're a good officer, and I love you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. He's starting to relax a little bit, but he's still kind of on the edge, maybe going off. But, uh, you know, now he's saying that he loves me, so uh, we'll see how far that goes. Hey, bro, what's up? What the f are you looking at? You want your ass beat? You going to do it? Yeah. What's up, my boy? Please, sit down. You want some, bro? Chris, sit. Relax. I'll smash your head, bro. Know that. Come here. Come here. OK. All you had to do is hey, calm down. Hey, he needs to know. You cannot follow directions. You had to go back in the chair. No, no, no. You cannot follow directions. You had to go back in the chair. Really? I didn't do nothing, man. Hold still. I'll be good. Hold still. So I will be good, I promise you. There's no need to scrap me. Sit down, sit down, Chris. Hey, buddy, how are you doing? Get the hand up. A little bit better now. Hey, I'm going to kick your ass, bro. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's cool. As soon as they scoop me closer to you, you I'm going to headbutt you. I don't think they're going to do that this time for you, buddy. Oh, no, they are. Hey. Hey, bro, I love you, man. We're in this together, right? Okay. All right, Chris, we're going to get your photo done right now, all right? Look right over here for me so we can take your picture. Look this way a little bit more. Thank you. All right. Hey, you want me to tickle your chin with my tongue? No, I don't. OK. You can head for it, all right? OK. Thank you. He's still up and down, so we're going to take him upstairs and uh, to psych housing, and, uh, isolation housing. Will you guys tell me what I did wrong? You're threatening somebody, and we don't know how you're going to act. So we have to put you back in the chair until we figure that you're going to oh, be man. OK. Hey, hey, bro, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to. Yeah. Hey, bro, I'm serious. I am not a threat. Based on some of the remarks he made when he came in, the uh, psych services deemed him to be a potential suicidal inmate. So he's coming up here for suicide watch. Suicidal. All right, well, we're going to get a room all by yourself for a little while. Okay? Oh, that's cool. Thank you. All right. I have done nothing wrong, okay. so I think I need to be released right now. We're going to take you out now. OK. Do what we say. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, there's nothing typical that happens in book, and this is one of those nights where you have one inmate that you have to dedicate a lot of time to. I just want you to lay down and take a little nap, all right? OK. We're going to come up and talk to you later and see how you're doing, all right? OK. All right. Have a good night, all right? OK. 
All right. Yes, sir. Hey, Chris. I just came up to check on you, see how you're doing. Okay. Chris, do you remember when he came in? Do you remember what happened when you got arrested? Um, I'm an alcoholic in recovery. I have 18 uh -huh. months of sobriety, and I slipped yesterday. And um, that's what happened, man. I really screwed up, and I've made my life a lot worse from it. Yeah. But I can you know tell. what? I'm going back to AA. As soon as I get out of here, I'm getting right back on track, and I'm going to be a great man. Oh, well, good. Because, so I mean, fine. I can tell that you're you're yeah. acting a lot better than you were last night. Yeah, I do believe I was blacked out. Yeah, I mean, you're, I do believe you're... I was very deep in my disease last night, and I yeah. apologize for that, sir. No, it's fine. We deal with a lot of people that come in like that. They uh, did do the probation violation charge on you from your, uh, from the DUI. Right. So, uh, I don't know, are you in pretty good standings with your PO right now? Yeah. You are? Really good. Okay, well, maybe we can talk to him and see what's going to go on. Last night, you said your family really loved you a lot, and you love them. So. I think they do. I oh, really do, and I don't think they're going to give up on me. Oh, well, good, because you need a good support group when you're outside the jail. I do. Yes, you do. All right, Chris, see you. All right. Good to see you. are doing better, though. It is, good. right? Thank you. Take care, okay? It's nice that he's doing a lot better today. You can definitely tell that he's, uh, the alcohol's worn off. Uh, it's unfortunate that he got the probation violation. Yeah, it is. Well, he's going to be away from his family, but... I'm not sure exactly what his status is, but we'll find out and see if we can move him out of here and so he can take care of some business. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my needs. I don't wanna be